Hi everyone, it's Dr. Campbell with another dissecting an ICD-10 PCS operative report. And we are going to start with our first patient who has arterial insufficiency of the legs. And the procedure that is done today is an aorto by femoral bypass graft. You know what I'm going to say, and I'll just go ahead and say it. Before you continue reading through the report, it's critical that you understand these two things. Guys, do yourself a favor, stop, look up this diagnosis, understand why the provider chose to do this bypass graft today. All right, so then as we continue through the note, the usual prepped and draped, groin incisions were opened. The common femoral vein and its branches were isolated and rubber loops were placed around the vessels. At completion of this, the abdomen was explored. The patient was found to have evidence of radiation changes in the abdominal wall and some of the small bowel. The remainder of the abdominal exploration was unremarkable. After the abdomen was explored, now let me just pause for a second. I don't know if you guys noticed something, but I'm going to tell you what I noticed. This area was open to the provider's naked eye. So they opened and were able to see exactly what was going on in the abdominal area. So after the abdomen was explored, a Balfour retractor was put in place. The aorta and iliacs were mobilized. Bleeding points were controlled with electrocoagulation. The tapes were placed around the vessel. The vessel was measured and the aorta was found to be 12 mm vessel, a 12 mm vessel. An 11 by 6 bifurcated, by meaning two, microvalor graft was then pre-clotted with the patient's own blood. And an end-to-end -end anastomosis was made on the aorta and the graft. This is a bypass, guys. The limbs were taken down through the tunnels and an end-to-side anastomosis was made between the graft and the femoral arteries with running suture of 4.0 proline. The inguinal incisions were closed with running sutures of 2.0 visceral and 4.0 proline. Um, they also did staples around the skin. The subcutaneous tissue was closed with running suture 3.0 visceral. The skin was closed in staples, guys. You got it. They closed the patient up. Now, there is a note that says before the surgical incision was made using the subclavian stick, a swan gans catheter was inserted into the right subclavian vein and guided into the superior vena cava, and then this was so sutured in place with 4 dot silk or 2 dot o silk. So, guys, here you have two distinct procedures that were performed. So first, you have a bypass. And the bypass was performed on the aorta, specifically the abdominal wall, okay? The second procedure that was performed was an insertion of a device and where was the device inserted superior vena cava we've actually coded something similar to this before okay and let's pause for a second the approach to the first procedure was indeed different than the second procedure this portion of the procedure was open this portion of the procedure was percutaneous. Now, you may be asking me, well, how do you know that? How did you know that? Guys, it goes back to something I've been saying for a while now. 
In order to do ICD-10 PCS coding, you have to know your guidelines. You have to know your root operations. You have to learn uh, the different surgical approaches. And that is just, it's just critical to ensuring that you can dissect your operative report. All right, guys, so what's next? Well, you guessed it. We gotta take out our ICD-10 PCS manual. And I'm going to start with the root operation of bypass. And uh, of course, we know that we always begin where the term actually begins. So here, we're talking about bypass, right? And then the body part, aorta. And remember we said abdominal aorta. Remember that? Remember from the beginning how they talked about the abdomen was open, it was explored. Um, so, all right, so from there, we notice that the index is giving us table 041, the body part of zero. So I'm gonna write that down, 0410, all right? Now, while I'm over here, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go pick up my second code, which is the insertion of the device. And again, I'm gonna start where that term actually begins. So, insertion of device, right? And where was this device inserted? Superior vena cava. Remember we said that earlier? So, now the question is, how do we get there? Okay, so, Let's see, and guys, I'm pretty sure we did this before, and I'm pretty sure we said vena cava actually works. Vena cava, and in this particular case, it was superior, so that is table 0, 2, H, V. 0, 2, H, V. All right, guys, so the very next thing is to go to our tables, and I'm going to start with 041, and I am just having some great luck because I'm just turning the page, and I'm getting to the table very quickly. Again, practice, practice, practice. So table 041, body part was the abdominal aorta. We said that our approach was open. Now, the question that you have to ask yourself was, was there a device used for this bypass graft? And the answer, guys, was in fact, yes. And the device was a synthetic substitute. Now, I know, the million dollar question, how do you know it is a synthetic substitute? So I'm gonna go back to my report and let's highlight this. This was a 11 by seven bifurcated microvalor graph. So that's how I knew it was synthetic substitute. So let me just reiterate, each and everything that you don't know guys, you must look it up no options whatsoever no options whatsoever you must always 100 percent of the time look it up okay so now from there so then that's a j and then the qualifier uh oh guideline alert guideline alert there is a guideline regarding bypass, and I'm gonna go back to the beginning of my ICD-10 PCS manual. See guys, if you know the guidelines, when you are coding, you can actually apply those rules. So remember, let's see, it was the guideline on bypass. Now here's the funny thing. I don't even know what the number is, but here's one thing that I do know. 
I know there's a guideline. All right. And look, in my book, I actually have it, a box around it. Coronary artery bypass grafts are coded differently than other bypass procedures as described in the previous guideline. So this was the previous guideline. Previous guideline says bypass procedures are coded by identifying the body part bypass from and the body part bypass to. The fourth character identifies the body part bypass from. The qualifier identifies the body part bypass to. Here is how we code coronary artery bypass. So they're coded differently rather than the body part is the bypass from. The body part identifies the number of coronary arteries bypass to and the qualifier specifies the vessel bypass from. Uh-oh, guys, here's the million dollar question. Was this a coronary artery bypass or a non-coronary artery bypass? Let's see. Do, 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 do. You must know your anatomy, guys. So. This was not a coronary artery. Documentation states aorta, not coronary artery. This was the aorta. So back to table 02H. All right, guys. Guys, please don't stress out about this process. You, you will not learn how to code overnight. Um, I, I just, I, I want you to know that you will not learn how to code overnight and I'm on the wrong table. All right. So let me get there guys. <laughs> Zero four. I didn't get there fast this time. All right. Zero four one and then zero. Okay. So. Um, which one of these was documented in our medical record? Femoral arteries. How do I know? Aorto by femoral. Yay. Final character is K. So, zero, four, one, zero, J, K. All right, next we're gonna pick up that Swan Gans catheter. And for that one, we need to go to table 02H, which is back the other way. zero to H my friends and the body part was V superior vena cava approach percutaneous swan gans is a type of monitoring device so that's a two no qualifier now i know you're going to say how did you know that guys let me say this again and this is my last and final thought everything that you don't know everything anytime you see something that you don't know what it means you have to look it up dr campbell signing off happy coding